So you got your new Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra or Plus, popped in your SIM or eSIM, and bam, you are hit with no SIM, no service. The signal bars are low, even grayed out. And when you're trying to call, it's just showing SIM not registered on network. Well, don't worry, let's go ahead and fix this problem. The very first thing we're going to go is the very basic. Swipe down your kernel panel and from here just go ahead turn on airplane mode, wait for around 10 seconds, it will just refresh the whole network and then turn it back off again. If it's still showing no service or SIM not provisioned, now what you can do is just go ahead give your S25 a restart. Sometimes a simple restart solves any minor glitches if that's causing this problem. Now, even after doing this process, if you're still having the same problem, now we're going to go ahead and check out some advanced settings. From settings to connections, go to your SIM manager. Now, first of all, you have to make sure your SIM or eSIM or both whatever you've installed are turned on. If they're already turned on, just restart them by turning it off and on again. And at the same time, make sure your preferred SIM is selected for calling. Next, what you can do, go back one step and uh, enter mobile networks. All you have to do is make sure voice over LTE option is turned on for your SIM or SIMs. Now, scroll down and in network mode, make sure the highest like 5G is uh, enabled. After that, go to network operators, turn off select automatically since you're having problem and then manually select the network again. Although it's recommended to keep it select automatically. Now next, what's recommended, open up settings again, scroll down for apps, and here just search for SIM toolkit. If you're using dual SIM, select the SIM that's causing you this problem, go to the storage, and clear cache and also clear data. And then just force quit this section. Although it should fix the issue, but if you're still having the same problem, and especially if you're having this problem with your physical SIM, just go ahead, take out the SIM, and make sure there is no dust or debris that's on your SIM that might be causing this problem. Clean it properly, install it to the SIM tray, and then put it into your device again. Now, after installing, still having the same problem, don't worry. As a last resort, we're gonna reset network settings. From settings, just search for reset network settings. Go to reset mobile network settings and then reset settings for your sim if you are using dual sim go ahead do this for both of your sim one after another your problem will be solved my friend even after that you are having the same problem and if the same sim is working on different devices but not in here either contact samsung customer care or contact your carrier thanks for watching